Hello everyone. This morning I'm going to make a simple low carb crock pot dish. Um, if you're not on low carb I'd make some mashed potatoes with it later but if you are you can eat this just as it is. I'm going to make a pork and kraut recipe. I'm going to start putting by putting these tenderloins I picked up for half price last time I was at Aldi's and I am going to put these just throw them in the crock pot crock pot cooking is easy you just leave everything in there all day and then that night you have dinner hadn't even had breakfast yet and I'm cooking dinner <laughs> all right so I'm gonna throw them in there's one kitchen scissors come in handy, let me tell you. Especially if I'd learned to use them. What did I do wrong? I don't think I cut down far enough. There we go. Always wash them though after you use them, especially if you're using them to open up uh, raw meat. Make sure you clean your scissors real good. And make sure you dry them good. You don't want them to rust out. Okay, so those are in there. I'll lay these down by the sink. Next, I'm going to add some of my homemade sauerkraut. You can use store-bought sauerkraut. This is some sauerkraut I made. I'm going to put a big jar. God, that smells good. And a little jar. This would be like one of them big bags you get in the store, or, or three cans. Or... Okay, next to that, I'm going to cut up a small onion, just in big julienne slices. I did mean to put a little meat tenderizer on the meat first, but it'll, it'll find its way down. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Get my hands a little goopy, you won't kill me. And then a little garlic powder. I'm just going to put it right on here. And a little pepper. I'm not going to put a lot on here because it says these are seasoned uh, tenderloins. I don't know what they seasoned with, but just I don't want to over season. I can always add more stuff later. So I'm going to sprinkle in some onion. I mean, this is a really simple recipe. Alright, next, I'm just going to throw in a few whole cloves of garlic once I take the peel off. <laughs> Excuse me, all the, <laughs> the pepper. <laughs> wow. Okay. not a big garlic fan you don't have to do this if you really love garlic you can add more uh, garlic's very healthy <laughs> okay that's all you do you turn it on I'll turn it on high just and when it's done several hours from now because it's kind of frozen and it's pork you can turn it on low until you eat it and that's all there is I will bring you back when it's time to take it out of the crock pot. Oh, and one more thing. Tenderloins are very lean, and you don't want this to stick. So add some water. That simple. So you got tenderloin, a few seasonings, some water, onion, sauerkraut, and garlic cloves. That's it. We're going to let this cook all day. We'll get back to you later so we can show you how it's doing. Okay, so it's been in here about four hours on high, so I just now turned it to low. I do not have a medium. Don't put it on warm, it won't finish cooking. So we went from high to low, and we're going to let it cook a few more hours until dinner time. I'll get back with you then. Okay, y'all, this has been cooking and cooking. I'm fixing to check on it. 
I made my daughter a little bit of instant potato flakes and I put a little of these green onions in it for uh, I'm going to eat mine just like this uh, let's see how it's doing Kraut. Oh, it smells amazing. I love homemade sauerkraut. I'm going to take, oh, look, it's falling apart. So it is done. The meat is just falling apart. So I think I'm going to fix her a plate of this with potatoes and a plate of just this for me. I don't know if I can swallow much. I'm feeling pretty ugh. But uh, maybe a little bit of this kraut might go down. All right, this looks delicious. It smells amazing. Y'all take care and eat something good. And this was an easy recipe.